Tim. Welcome to Watch One, and thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at the Audemars Piguet Jules Audemars Tourbillon Chronograph Reference 25909, 43mm in 18 karat white gold. You can see this Jules Audemars grand complication on our website, watchyouwant.com. Purchase it there, and if you like these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. This is pretty close to the perfect watch. 43 millimeters across the round portion of the case. Nice, closely coupled, downward thrusting lugs. It's 43 millimeters at the extremities of the round portion, but still only 48 millimeters from the extremity of lug to the opposite extremity of lug. So even on my 16 centimeter wrist, you can see this watch fits and sits very nicely. Now while it is 14 millimeters thick, the watch is wonderfully contoured so that with the double stepped bezel and the rounded case plank, it'll easily slide under a cuff. I also want to call attention to the gorgeous and yet abundantly flexible semi-conforming spring bars because they wrap around the curvature of the case without sitting flush and wanting to billow out. So they don't add virtual diameter by creating a stiff interface with the case, but they do close the gap between the end of the strap and the side of the case. Aesthetically, it's quite pleasing. Now, the case itself is a marvel. With gorgeous double finish, you can see alternating polish and brushed portions. Even the lugs themselves feature alternately vertically brushed portions on their flanks and polished hoods. Gorgeous, billowing, sinuous. This is a sexy watch. Moreover, the combination of a white metal with plenty of heft and a gorgeous, highly legible black dial means that this is a grand complication that you can use with ease whenever you like. First and foremost, let me show you something you might not expect from a grand complication. Everything here that looks like loom is loom. It glows like a torch. Give me a moment to energize it, and I'm going to show you how this chronograph tourbillon pretty much transforms into a Panerai Luminor. Boom. There you go. It doesn't get much more dramatic than that, but you're looking at a tourbillon chronograph that doubles as a flashlight. I didn't expect this, but then this watch is full of surprises. Now another surprise is just how visible the tourbillon cage is. When this model debuted in 1999, and this is an E-series watch for you Audemars Mavens out there, it featured the largest, most visible tourbillon cage AP had ever designed. After pioneering the modern tourbillon wristwatch in the mid-1980s, AP took its tourbillon wristwatch design to the next level. And the great thing about this one is that everything from the gorgeous Breguet overcoil hairspring to the rim of that beautiful golden balance and the gorgeous bridge work is abundantly visible. You don't even need a loop to appreciate it. Now the dial itself is a gorgeous backdrop to the centerpiece of the tourbillon. Featuring skeletonized hands, the better to not interfere with your view of the tourbillon itself and a discreetly integrated chronograph function. Now the chronograph, surprisingly, is hugely less legible, visible, and practical. It doesn't play second fiddle in any way to the, to the tourbillon display itself. Now you can see that the calibration runs all the way around, and even the slight interruption caused by the tourbillon cage at 6 o'clock doesn't do much to obscure the hashes and the calibrations of the chronograph. With a 30-minute register right here, you can see that, for all practical intents and purposes, this is the king of complications, the chronograph, combined with the absolute prince of refinements, the tourbillon. Now, when you turn the watch over, you can see it's as ornate on the case back as it is on the front. Moreover, because the column wheel has no balance architecture to obscure it, you get a gorgeous display of all the levers, the column wheel, the drivetrain, the screws for fixing and adjusting the chronograph mechanism. The chronograph becomes the centerpiece of the case back, because it doesn't have to fight for real estate, just as the tourbillon rules the dial. And you can see, as I actuate the chronograph, it's easy to track the start, the stop, and the reset of the caliber 2879. Now, this is a 30 joule movement adjusted in five positions, highly accurate and everyday wearable. It features a 48 hour power reserve and a clever use of an adjustable titanium chronograph lateral clutch. So it has a lot of inherent stiffness built in and multiple adjustment positions so that in the hands of AP watchmakers, the chronograph function itself can be actuated without the characteristic jump that's often seen on lateral clutch chronographs. So you get the beauty the visible works of a lateral clutch with the precision 
often associated with a vertical clutch, and of course, the crisp actuation, you can hear it, that comes with a column wheel, both in terms of feel and that crisp snap that the ear picks up as it's activated. The watch is an outstanding example of practicality in an haute horlogerie, absolutely top shelf, high complication. When you combine a tourbillon with a chronograph and this level of finish, you can see the degree of mirror polished anglage. You can see the partridge eye polish also to a mirror shine of all the jewel sinks. You can see the screws, each head polished, each edge camfered, and you can see the gorgeous bridge work with a subtle Cote de Genève pattern that comes to life at an angle within the light right here. It's just gorgeous. The centerpiece is the chronograph. The centerpiece is the tourbillon. Each one given equal billing in this Audemars Piguet Jules Audemars reference 25909, 43 millimeters in 18 karat white gold. See it and buy it on watchyouwant.com.